how to download all photos and videos from Google Photos in one click on iPhone. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel App Guide. So in today's video, I'll show you how you can download all photos and videos from Google Photos in one single click. So make sure to watch the video till the end. Now over time, let's say you have backed up lots of photos to your Google Photos account, right? And then you want to download all of them because maybe you're switching to a new device, maybe you're just transferring to another account or just some type of reason like that. Downloading them one after another would be a lot of process because you might have 9,000, 10,000 photos. I have over 9,000 photos and I certainly don't want to go to the 9,000 photos and then click on the download button so what i need to do is i need to figure out a way to download all of these data at once so to do that first of all just launch the google photos app and then make sure that you sign into the correct google account from the top right hand side then you want to tap on the google photos icon from the top right hand side of the screen and then just go to manage your google account option which you see then once you tap on the option called manage your google account you come to this page where you have to go to the option called data and privacy and then now once you come to privacy scroll down and then look for the apps and services tab so right over here you can see apps and services that also says content saved from google services so you just want to make sure to tap on it once you tap on content saved from google services what you want to do is a new page is going to open up where under recently used google services you have to look for the google photos app icon over here and as you can see i have 9000 plus photos now if i want to download all of the photos and videos at once all i need to do is just tap on the option called download over here now once I tap on the option called download, it will ask me to verify first of all and once you verify with your password, make sure that Google Photos is actually checked over here right. So you want to make sure to check it over here and then just tap on the next step from the bottom right. Then after that, send download link via email. Now what is this is that it will not get directly downloaded right over here. It is going to take a couple of time to send the download link to your email or maybe to Drive or maybe to Dropbox to OneDrive or to Box depending upon which is convenient for you. In this case, I'll just select email. And then here you can say frequency export one and export every two months for one year. In this case, I'll just select export once because I just don't want to do it this one time. And then I have to select the file type because it is by default, it is going to be compressed. So you have to extract it basically as well. So you want to keep that in mind. It is going to be in zip format. And then now you can see file size. Now what this does is that exports larger than the size will be split into multiple files. So if you want to split it to multiple files, you can do that. But in this case, I'll just select a random highest one because it is going to be in one single file. I don't want to extract all of those files differently right so once i've done that i'm going to tap on the create export button now once this does is that it says your files are currently being processed this process can take a long time possibly hours or days to complete you'll receive an email when the export is done depending upon how much data and photos you have on your google photos it's going to take a while to arrive in your email and when you go to your email and then actually tap on that link you'll have an option to download you just need to click on the download button and then export those photos in order to go ahead and then view all those photos and this is how you can download all google photos and videos in one click on your iphone we hope the video was really helpful and if it did help you then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you have got any more questions feel free to leave them down thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video